Doc Watson. Good morning, Kettle Run. Today is Thursday, April 28th. I'm William Sanziano. Today is Lookalike Day, where students can dress like a staff member. The seniors versus faculty basketball game is this Friday during fourth block. Tickets will be sold at the door for $5. Did you receive a scholarship for college? Come to Kettle Run's scholarship ceremony on May 12th to be recognized. I should ask your teacher for the link to sign up. Reminder that SOLs are next week. The science SOLs are on May 3rd, math, math SOLs are on May 4th, and the reading SOLs are on May 5th. Students will need to bring their Chromebooks fully charged. We now go to Hazen Griffin with the weather. William. All right, guys, I'm Hazen Griffin here with the weather for today. So today we're looking at highs of 61 and lows of 34. We're looking at some uh, sunny skies in the early parts today, then in the afternoon it's gonna be uh, mostly clear. Uh, the winds are going to be 10 to 20 miles per hour for most of the day, but towards the evening they're just going to get 5 to 10 miles per hour, which, I mean, you know, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like when you have like fries at like the bottom of your fast food bag. It's like you know, like when it does happen, it's great. Like I'm not going to like be like, oh man, I hope I, I, I hope the winds are a little bit slower today. Um, but you know, when it does happen, you know, like I appreciate it. Yeah, it's like it's like cool. That's neat. But, you know, it's not like anything huge, I guess. Unless you're like a big big wind guy or something like that. You have a lot of stock in windmills. Yeah, yeah. If you have like a lot of stock in windmills, the wind later parts of the day are gonna not gonna be not gonna be in your favor. But then again, this is the weather segment, not the comedy segment. Jesus. Alright. Back to you on set. Thank you. Good morning, Kettle Run. <laughs> I'm here with the Club News and Sports, and I'm being silenced, okay? There is a list of band words. I will not be reading out these band words because they're banned, but there's a list with the Club News and Sports. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Come to see the Peanuts Gang at KRHS Performing Arts Musical Event Thursday the 28th and Friday the 29th at 7 p.m. and Sunday the 1st of May at 3 p.m. Tickets are $7 for students and 10 for adults. It's going to be a great show. It's like Peanuts. Open Gym is open on Mondays, Mondays and Wednesdays after school until 4.15 up until May 23rd. Back to you on set. Back to you schmucks that are silencing me! Hey guys, welcome back to Joke of the Day with William... Stan... Z... Ah no, and Hazen... I'm doing the joke today, William. Okay. So, a man goes to the pet store, okay? He's been looking for a pet, something to keep him company when he's alone at the house. And he says to the man running the pet store, he says, Hello, I would like to purchase an exotic pet. And the pet store man says, Hmm. Well, let me think. And he goes to the back and he searches and he looks and he looks for his most exotic pet. And he says to the man, I have the perfect thing for you. And he shows it to him, he displays it with his hands and he says, this right here is a millipede, but this is no normal millipede. Okay, he says, this millipede can talk. And the man says, by God, I'll take it. That's just what I was looking for, something just that exotic. And so he pays the money, and he gets in the car with, the, with Millipede in hand, and he says, Okay, Mr. Millipede, let's say you and I go to a restaurant together. That sounds like fun, no? And the Millipede says nothing. And the man says, Hmm, okay, well, maybe he's just, maybe he's just tired. Maybe he's still, you know, getting accustomed to being in my care as opposed to being in the pet store. Okay. And so the man says, Okay, Mr. Millipede, we're going to head back on home. So they go home, okay? And the man says, okay, Mr. Millipede, how about you and I go to the, the restaurant for dinner? You know, you've had some time to get acclimated. Why don't we go for dinner? And still the Millipede says nothing. And the man says, okay, maybe the Millipede is just tired. So he lets him go to bed. He says, okay, Mr. Millipede, we'll try again tomorrow. And so the next morning comes, okay? And the man says, to Mr. Millipede, he says, okay, let's go to the restaurant, to the diner for breakfast. And still the Millipede says nothing, and the man says, by God, all right. This Millipede, maybe he just doesn't talk. He says, okay, maybe he's just tired. Maybe he's still getting up in the morning. He says, okay, we'll try again later. 
And so towards the afternoon, the man tries again. He says, okay, this is your last chance. Maybe we can go to the diner for dinner and you know, just talk, talk this through. And still the millipede says nothing. So the man gets in the car. He says, I've had it. That man sold me a, that man sold me a millipede that just doesn't talk. He said it was an exotic pet. This isn't exotic at all. It's just a normal millipede. So he goes back to the pet store. And he says to the owner, he says, this millipede just doesn't talk. And you sold me a talking millipede. And the pet store owner says, no, no. And he, the man asked the millipede, do you talk? And he says, oh, no, yeah, I heard you all those times. I was just putting my shoes on. <laughs> That's my favorite joke we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not that funny, but it's, it's pretty good. I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> Because you think, you think the millipede just doesn't talk, <laughs> but no, oh no, he does. <laughs> and they have like a lot of feet, so it's like it'd take them a while to put those shoes on, wouldn't it? <laughs> a thousand, perhaps. Centipedes <laughs> have a thousand legs. Isn't that centipedes? They have like a hundred. Centipedes have ten. No, centi is a hundred. No, it. Milli is a thousand. Centi means ten. Like, I, I know that, like, it generally means 100, but I'm pretty sure Sunny means 10 and Millie. Like, could you honestly imagine a bug with a thousand legs? <laughs> One thousand? I mean, it's not like every centipede has exactly 10 or 100. Maybe they have like no, 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 no. Centipedes, centipedes have 10. <laughs> Millipedes are the ones with, like, a bunch of. But still, like, a thousand? <laughs> Matt, what is insane? Matt, what are you thinking? I, I know it's insane. I just figured I don't know if millipedes like, necessarily have, have 100, a hundred, but like. Like, I would assume that they just okay, have a lot. Okay, let's do the. Lot. I'll do the research. Yeah, yeah. I'll do the research. Okay. I would assume that they just have a lot. Like this is a, a long section. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. But that, that might be like true. How many, because how many, like, how many it has legs? More than a hundred. The 10 100 makes sense. I just want to count. Okay, so centipedes can have anywhere from 10 to roughly 300 legs. And you'll never find one with exactly 100 because they only have odd amounts. It's, That's crazy. It has 300, then it's just a millipede. Legs does millipede have? Let's see. No way, it's a millipede. It's not, it can't Most help. millipedes have around 300 legs. Okay, well, okay. what if... The, it, well, I mean, we were both wrong. Yeah, if, I mean, the centip okay. if the centipedes can range from 10 to 300, I'm sure that the millipedes can range from 300 to, like, 15. No, apparently no, no known millipede species has 1,000 legs. Common species of this burrowing arthropod have between 40 and 400 legs. So it sounds like it kind of varies from, from you know, each species and even within, like, for each specific person. Uh, great joke, guys, really. Back to you. <laughs> have a great day. Have a great day. We leave with a look at the birthdays and the lunch menu.